everybody. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I want to give some shout outs. I have so many to give and I'm so excited about it. First of all, I got the the June account summary. I don't know if everybody saw that. It tells you how you did for the month and also told you sort of who, who's been crushing it. And in June... Someone named Rob128, who I don't believe I've seen in the comments, but who obviously is out there, played 24 games in June. That is, by my math, every single game that we held. I know a lot of you are here every single day, and I want to shout out everybody who makes it part of their regular routine to be here playing Swagbucks Live. We are so happy to have you. Now, all right, we asked you for your favorite toys, and you did not let us down. Shauna Lou loved their big wheel and art set. Vero the Test had the original Nintendo with Mario Brothers, and I'm assuming Duck Hunt was also on that cartridge because they were came together. Can C and W Lady loved her chatty Kathy. You could record phrases and Chatty Kathy would talk to you. Just call me Lexi has had their stuffed bear in their life since they were one. Respect. Respect for someone who's who's rolling for life with their stuffed animal. Also, Kelly Girl 85 had those slap bracelets. Always remember those. And Laura Harris was whipping up some goodies with her Easy Bake Oven. Quite a few people giving that a shout out. JBG 1949 had the Betsy Wetsy doll, which required some maintenance and patience on your part. So congratulations. Uh, I will also, I'll ring in on this. I've had a lot of favorite toys in my life, but the one that sticks with me that I've started to collect now as an adult are those original Kenner Star Wars toys. So every once in a while, I'll appear on screen during Facebook Live, and you'll see over my shoulder some original Star Wars toys that I have collected. But right now, let's get on with it. It's Chocolate Day, the one day a year that we honor the greatest food in the history of humanity. So grab a chocolate bar and get ready to play the Thursday edition of Swag Bucks Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Not even the sweetest chocolate in the world can compare to the sweetness of today's grand prize. Take a look. That's $1,000, and everyone who can correctly answer these 10 multiple-choice general trivia questions will split it. Someone was asking about that earlier, so I'm trying 3497. You can split the grand prize. All you have to do is get all 10 questions correct. But even if you don't, in this game, you will earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. Now, if you are eliminated from grand prize contention, you will need to claim your bonus SB at the end of the game in order to keep them. And that's as simple as clicking a button that appears at the end of the game. Just click claim, the SB are yours. But if you win the game today... I'm trying 3497 or anybody else. You won't have to claim anything. The bonus SB you earn throughout will be rolled into your share of that grand prize. But right now, you know what? It's time for the comments to get out of here. See you later, comments. So that we can get this game going, which we are going to do right now. So much better this way. Here is question number one. Which of the following is a brand of whiskey? Is it Jack Tripper, Jack Daniels, or Jack Reacher? Which of those is a brand of whiskey? Established in 1880, 1866, it is the oldest distillery in the United States. And you can hop on a plane to Lynchburg, Tennessee to visit the Jack Daniels headquarters and see how it's made. Jack Daniels, of course, is the answer. 97% of you getting that one right. Well done. Jack Tripper, of course, was John Ritter's character on Three's Company. And Jack Reacher uh, is from a series of novels and also has been played by Tom Cruise and whoever's doing it in the Amazon Prime series that I've heard is very good, but I haven't watched yet. All right. Everybody who's out has come back in, plus some of our stragglers. We have over 28,600 people in grand prize contention. And we are on to question number two. It is worth one bonus SB to all 29,500 plus of you who are still playing this game. Here is question number two. Which continent is home to the Philippines? Is it Africa, Antarctica, or Asia? Which of those continents is home to the Philippines? A little geography for you. It's the text capital of the world, home to three of the planet's largest shopping malls. And in 1975, they founded Asia's first professional basketball league. That's right, the Philippines are in Asia. 97% of you getting that one right. Well done. You are moving on, giving yourself a continued chance to win this grand prize plus a bonus sb for everybody who got that one right in fact i have another bonus sb for anyone who gets this next question right 
It is question number three, and here it is. What event marked the start of the American Revolution? Was it the shot heard around the world, the punch heard down the block, or the kick nobody heard? Which of those events marked the start of the American Revolution? The colonies of America were already a powder keg, thanks to the taxation without representation. But the shot heard around the world is when it got real. Shot heard around the world, of course, is the answer. Everybody in the world heard that one. 98% of you getting it right. Well done. Doing very well in this Thursday game, our most difficult game of the week. But I have faith in you. In fact, I'm going to prove it right now by moving on to question number four. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here's Q4. Within the Woods was a short film made to sell investors on what feature film? Is it Friday the 13th, The Blair Witch Project, or The Evil Dead? It's called Within the Woods, and it later became a famous cult horror film. You know, sometimes people can't imagine what a film will look like from a pitch, so Sam Raimi made a short film in order to get money for what would become The Evil Dead. The Evil Dead is the answer. 55% of you getting that one right. Well done. Unfortunately, 45% of you were lost within the woods. But you can shop smart, shop S-smart right now. Bring yourself back into the game. And it looks like well over three quarters of you who were eliminated are doing just that. Jumping right back in. Still over 25,000 people in grand prize contention. <clears throat> over 29,600 of you still playing the game. Can continue to earn bonus SP when you get questions right. And let's put that to the test right now with question number five, worth one bonus SB, if you get it right. Here it is. Lewis Mayer was the first athlete to do what? Was it play ice hockey in a helmet, drink milk after winning the Indy 500, or steal second base? It's the first athlete to do one of these things. Maybe you know. Let's see. It's become tradition, but back in 1936, Lewis Mayer would drink buttermilk to cool off on a hot day, which he did after winning the Indy 500. A dairy exec saw him the next year, and the rest is history. Yes, he was the first person to drink milk after winning the Indy 500. 69% of you getting that one right. Well done to you. <clears throat> Another, not an easy question. 31% of you were eliminated, and that's okay. Some of you coming back in. Again, it's Thursday. It's a tough game. And I believe, though, in your ability to do well at this game. We're going to give just another second for people to rejoin. And then we are on to question number six. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here is question number. Oops. Pardon? Slight technical difficulty, but we are ready now. Here's question number six worth one bonus SB. Which of the following playground games involves children sitting in a circle? Is it hopscotch, double dutch, or duck, duck, goose? You sit in a circle during this game. Which one is it? Combining the excitement of the chase from tag with the nail-biting tension of musical chairs, Duck, Duck, Goose might be the perfect playground game. Yes, you sit in a circle for Duck, Duck, Goose. Only 26% of you getting that one right. Oh my goodness, Hopscotch, you do not sit in a circle. You take turns jumping on something you've put and then you... You know, you throw the stone and then you jump on the little path. You do not sit in a circle. It's Duck, Duck, Goose where you do that one. Unfortunately, that means that 74% of you were just eliminated. But a good number of you coming back in. We are only four questions away from seeing who wins a piece of this $1,000 grand prize. And we had over three quarters of the people eliminated come back in we like to see that over fifteen thousand of you in grand prize contention that number continuing to jump a lot of people rejoining i'm going to give you just another moment to do that but thinking back on it you sit in a circle and one person walks around going duck 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 when they say goose they run the person who they tapped has to get up and chase them before before they can return to that player's spot in the circle that's how you play Duck, Duck, Goose. If you haven't played it in a while, maybe it'd be fun to do. Maybe as we get older, I feel like if I had to get up really quickly, I wouldn't enjoy that. Let's move on to question number seven now. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. In 2014, the town of Maryville, Arizona was terrorized by a group of what animals? Is it rattlesnakes, chihuahuas, or armadillos? Terrorized. 
Imagine the fear that gripped those Arizona townsfolk as they saw packs of wild chihuahuas running rampant in the streets. Just imagine it. Chihuahuas is the answer. 82% of you getting that one right. You knew chihuahuas is the answer. Maybe you saw a hint on our swagget. Maybe so. There was a hint about this. And it looks like maybe you got it. 82% of you getting it right. I like to see that. Only three questions remaining until we find out who won a piece of the grand prize. Let's move on to question number eight. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. What part of a guinea pig never stops growing? Is it the hair, the nails, or the teeth? What part of a guinea pig never stops growing? Which could it be? Well, guinea pigs, who by the way, will squeeze out of their cage when and if they're able. I know that from personal experience. Do have long hair and nails. It is their teeth that never stop growing. Teeth is the answer. 93% of you getting that one right. Well done to you. I will tell you, my, my guinea pig, Stanley, very frequently would get through what were not, they weren't wide set apart bars, but we would get free and wander about uh, our Northeast Philadelphia home. Let's move on to question number nine, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Q9. Te amo is the way of saying I love you in which language? Is it French, Dutch, or Spanish? Te amo. What language is that to say I love you? There's just something different about saying I love you in certain languages that gives it some extra zing. Te amo is how you say it. In Spanish. Spanish is the answer. 11,433 of you have made it this far and are ready for our final question. But before we get to that final question, I've got a fun way for you to earn SB on your iOS or Android device. Play Coin Master. When you download the game through Swagbucks, you'll earn 50 SB. Then complete Village Level 25 within seven days to earn an additional 2,000 SB. It's a fun, addicting game that can earn you some big-time rewards. You have to be a U.S. member and a first-time Coin Master player to take advantage of this offer. Check it out after the game. And by the way, speaking of video games, we've got a video games-themed game for you tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, noon Pacific Time. Look at the amazing work done by our design team. I just love this so much. I love it so, so much. Let me, let me, I'm gonna reposition it a little bit just so you can see how wonderful it is. There it is, a little black bar at the top, but worth seeing. $2,500 on the line and grand prize money there for you to enjoy. So please come show off your video game knowledge tomorrow for our Friday Flash game. End the week with some big money. And right now, we're going to end this game by seeing who of the 11,459 people left will win a piece of our $1,000 grand prize. Everyone else can also earn one bonus SB right now by correctly answering question number 10. Here it is. West Side Story is a loose musical adaptation of what Shakespeare play? Is it Hamlet, Twelfth Night, or Romeo and Juliet? West Side Story. Basically a version of what Shakespeare play. West Side Story is about two star-crossed lovers from warring groups who pursue their romance despite everyone's objections, which sounds familiar. A lot of people uh, don't make it to the end. You know, just like in Romeo and Juliet, Romeo and Juliet is the answer. 11,198 people knew that one, and you are splitting our grand prize today. Congratulations. Sweet as a bar of chocolate, seeing you win that one. You were each taking home nine SB in grand prize money, plus the bonuses you earned along the way. Hey, hey, 30, I say, hey, hey, you're a winner. Sud, 2001, you are a winner. And Savannah Schrock. You are a winner as well. Congratulations to all of our grand prize winners. Congratulations to those of you who earned bonus SB and claimed them just now. You have more SB in your account at the end of the game than you did when the game began. And that makes you a winner in my book. And now that you have all these new SB in your account, you know what to do with them when the time is right for you. Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Great job all week long. Come back early tomorrow for our Friday Flash game. Thank you for playing Swagbucks Live, and we will see you then, my friends.